I've been involved in cotton for over 70 years. And I've seen a lot of changes, but it's still cotton. My grandfather, great-grandfather farmed, my father farmed. I've been farming ever since I was 12, 15 years old. It's my life, literally. It's my hobby. I live for it. We're doing the exact same thing here as the very beginning gens that Eli Whitney put together. The speed of things, of course, has changed. The, the size of the equipment, width equipment, has changed. I had the opportunity to help John Deere develop that machine right here on this farm. We bring it in from the field, and the first thing is put it on a module feeder and unlock it and put it in an airstream. The cotton and all that excess moisture is dried out before it goes through a cleaning process. It goes through about six different cleaning processes before it goes to the gin stand, which takes the seed separates the seed out of the lint. Then the lint cotton goes through three more cleaning processes before it goes to the bale to press, to press out the bale. In the, in the process of getting the bale pressed out, we add moisture back to it to make the cotton panel better. Everything in that gin is practically operated with a computer brain here, there, and everywhere. It's bailed up in a 500 pound bale and goes to a warehouse. We take a sample out of every bale and send it to the US government to be classed. Every bale has like a social security number. When the mills buy it, they look at that class in the grade and say, I want that bale and I want this bale. They don't necessarily want every bale to be the same. They want a blend. It's pretty high tech. Every bit of, even the trash burrows that we take out and go in the back, the locals come get that to feed their cows. Those seed are going up Midwest to feed milk cows. The moat is used for everything from Q-tips to cotton balls sticking your ear and a medicine bottle. You've got all these cotton swabs to take makeup off and put makeup on. People don't realize it and think about it, but you know, it, and it all originates off of that little plant out there in the field. Cotton is just a very, very important commodity. I love it. I just like I just I just love it, and and it's it's really been good to us.